Along with the dimensions that we discovered in seriation, students in the uh, in the operation concrete operational stage develop the ability to classify. So what I want to do is take a moment and share with you some thoughts about classification. Now we in, we enter this uh, discussion and looking at concrete operations, and right off the bat we note that classification. Uh, requires a definition. Classification is the act or process of classifying. Well, that's kind of weird, isn't it? Uh, you uh, hear a word, and you look in the dictionary, and it tells you to see the word. But to classify is a systematic arrangement in groups or categories according to established criteria, and it says specifically taxonomy. Now, classification is a process which is used in many different sciences. So, archaeologists to perform uh, timing of uh, different sites based upon classification or the ability to draw together those things which are very similar. Now we look at the classification we need to start thinking about the the levels of classification that a child goes through. The child in the concrete operational stage uh, according to Piaget really moves through three levels of classification. In level one, which usually occurs around the age of five, uh, a child can classify or group things that are alike, generally using only two objects at a time. For instance, they might identify two circles or they might identify two squares, but it doesn't go much above two objects at a time. In level two, classifications are alike according to one dimension. For example, they might uh, notice a group of animals and classify them based upon simply one dimension. And then in the latter stage, level three of classification, they understand class inclusion. This generally happens around eight. Now, level one is about five, level two is roughly seven, but around eight, uh, children develop the ability to classify based upon class inclusions. For example, they might look at a group of glass beads and be able to separate many different glass beads from many different wooden beads uh, by understanding that they belong to a different class. Uh, it should be clear to the reader now that uh, Piaget uh, conceptualized cognitive development as occurring not in isolation, but in all areas at the same time. Uh, a cognitive advance in one area affects another area. Uh, with this in mind, you know, you need to consider the concrete operational child's concept of causality, time, and speed, which we will look at next. The following video, uh, the one that we're going to watch next, really illustrates the power of classification uh, as being an underlying support for logical intelligence. Now, the difference in the concrete operational and the logical mathematical stage is the ability to do abstract thought. But this video is very interesting and I hope that you I hope that you enjoy it. Should be a lot of fun. We'll get kicked off here. Suppose all the animals in the world were to die. Yes. Would there be any birds left? No. Why not? There are animals too. And suppose all the birds in the world were to die. Would there be any animals left? No, yeah, yes, there would be animals, yes. How do you know? Well, not all, not all animals are birds. Okay, thank you very much. In the responses of the children to these classification tasks, we find illustrated the sequence of developmental stages Piaget has described. At the pre-operational stage, the child is beginning to abstract a common property from the objects and to find that property in many objects. Then at the stage of concrete operations, Multiple classification, class inclusion, and hierarchical classification become possible. In this film, we have not illustrated the stage of formal operations, in which the subject would be able to set up a hierarchical classification scheme by defining the necessary criteria for members of the superordinate and subordinate classes. The concrete operations necessary for classification are usually mastered by 10 or 11 years of age. Obviously, as the child matures, and grows and explores his or her environment in moving through the concrete operational stage, 
the framework of abstract logical intelligence is being laid. By the age of 11, classification has become so complex that the child is almost is beginning to reach out into the formal operational logical stage. 